Farmers cultivating tissue culture bananas in the county, in the country rather, are now investing in private laboratories to improve the quality of their produce. A farmer in Key C is doing just that and is now a major supplier of banana seedlings in the county and beyond. As our very own Dennis Ocheno tells us on this week's Smart Farm. The bustling Kisi town is dotted with homes and farms with lush green banana plantations. At Nyamataro Kituchuchache constituency, we meet Vicky Onderi, who has cultivated the crop for over a decade. We find her at this private banana laboratory as she prepares to make solutions for her banana seedlings. I found our people, they are planting bananas, but they are not planting green materials. And if you are not planting green materials, it makes diseases to go from one place to another. And because of lack of awareness and capacity building, most people don't understand the type of even varieties of bananas. So if people are not aware about the right varieties, they plant bananas which gives them low yield and then they don't get money. That gap in the market led her to establish this modern lab three years ago. I got the training from KEFIS and also from Horticulture, HCDA. They trained me to know how to prepare the media. They trained me how the whole process of tissue culturing process, which has really assisted me. They trained also my staff, which who are working here. Onderi runs the lab with close supervision of personnel from the Kenya Plant Health Inspectorate Services, KEFIS. The process to achieve that top-grade banana seedling begins here. A sucker is plucked from the mother plant and carefully sterilized. What we normally do is we remove the outer parts because the soil has also the also microorganisms, the bacteria and so on. You make sure that you don't destroy the mere stem. It's in the, the, in the middle. Okay. The mary stem is then boiled and placed in an autoclave pressure machine for a month, upon which it develops shoots. The shoots are then placed in a mixture of nutrients that include calcium, potassium and phosphorus. This helps in the multiplication process. For you as a farmer to, to get this material to go and harden in the skin house, it will take you two months. From here now, after labeling, you take it to the growth room. After two months, the plants are finally transplanted into a nursery and will now grow under a shade. Setting up the lab, however, requires a heavy financial commitment. For interest farmers who have money, it's costly. Uh, 15 million, you can start. Something which makes costly is the reagents and also the permanent acid like the autoclaves. Yeah, what they sell in millions, autoclaves. Like the reagents, they sell in thousands. You know, with tissue culture, is not that you can do things without orders. You have to get the orders. We discussed with the Migori County, Kakamega County, Nandi County, all the counties, and even Bomet County. In a bid to earn more from our produce, Onderi is now making banana wine by using these facilities at the Kenya Industrial Research Institute in Kisi. People take the other wine as general wine, but with this one, it's very nutritious. This one, it goes for 1,000 shillings. This one. It is a high time also our country tries to think about to export more of our products. Thanks to the banana value addition, Vicky now has a reason to toast for her success, having increased her earnings by almost four times. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm. <laughs>